this. And in this video, I will go over the initial setup for the Spark Salesforce Integration Toolkit. Once you've imported the Spark Salesforce Integration Management Process Application, you will need to set up the SSL Security Trusts and WebSphere Integrated Solutions Console. I'll go here, login, expand security, and then select SSL Certificate and Key Management, SSL Configurations, No Default SSL Settings, Key Stores and Certificates, No Default Trust Store, Signer Certificates. And then from here, you will select Retrieve from Port, and the host is login.salesforce.com, the port is 443, and the alias is Salesforce. Select Retrieve Signer Information, hit Apply, and then Save. So now you want to get your security token from Salesforce. And to obtain your security token, you want to log into your Salesforce account. And then click on your personal icon on the top right here. Select Settings. And then Reset My Security Token and then click the Reset Security Token button. And then you'll receive an email with that token. Okay, there it is. Now once you have that, you want to go to Process Portal. And then select Salesforce Manage Database Schema. Click Create Spark Salesforce Schema. Okay, close that. Once you've done that, you want to set up global access, which is what sets up the connection from VPN to Salesforce. Your auth endpoint is going to be this right here. Your username. Your password. and then that token that you just received in your email. Okay, so hit save and then test. So that's a success, that is perfect. Close that and now the last step is to set up user credentials, which basically associates each BPM user identity to a Salesforce user identity. So again, you're going to put in your Salesforce user ID, and then your password again, and then your token. Okay, save and test, and it is a success. So now you are ready to use the Spark Salesforce integration toolkit.